Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some of the special weekend uh, edition of there's other uh, arenas like special events. This one is giant monsters. Sometimes you get singleton or a whole bunch of different like wacky formats. Uh, so this one in giant monsters, whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost for greater, you get to draw a card. Um, they're banning Narset and Nexus of Fate in this series. So I got a couple decks I brewed up quickly. Obviously the the go-to is kind of let's play big gruel things, dinosaurs or that. But I thought I'd play this list here. I think it's one that's kind of interesting. Uh, and it was mostly just fun. So it's kind of a play on the uh, Simic or Bant Ramp deck where you're using Mass Manipulation and Entrancing Melody. Um, so the goal of the deck is you have a bunch of early ramp in the form of Llanowar, Incubation, and Paradise Druid. Uh, this will help you get to your four drop creatures that will draw you cards. Um, and then we have uh, Nisa who doubles the mana. Um, our creatures are Voracious Hydra, which enters with either double the counters or you can fight something. Hydra Crisis to refill our hand. Ripjaw Raptor, which if creatures in this format will be smashing into each other, we draw more cards. And then Bio Essence Hydra, which can be get, come really large with us having Nisas and Kioras on the battlefield. Um, we also then have, like I said, our Entrancing Melody Mass Manipulation Package to steal our opponent's stuff. They're going to be playing big creatures, so are we. And then I actually want to try out Omniscience. Um, it's not unusual for us to be able to get to 10 mana. And then if we could start chaining together creatures and just getting a lot of draw steps, um, it's a way that we can play basically our entirety or a good chunk of our deck. So I thought that'd be something fun to play out. So we'll take it through. I have no clue what this format looks like. So it'll be a good opportunity to play through, see, and then make some tweaks afterwards. So let's fire this up. If you are looking for constructed play, I did just finish the uh, Simic Flash and Salti Flash budget build series. So taking from a budget deck all the way to a tier deck, uh, that's up in full right up on the Arena subreddit. So if you want to check that out, there's a number of uh, M20 budget build series that I did that are all up there right now. Uh, so we'll keep this hand. Turn three. We can get Ripjaw going. I feel like you don't mulligan a hand with an elf on turn one. That's nice. Set up our draw. Um, I think we want to go bigger than this. So we'll just attack in here. Because the thing is, next turn we're already playing Ripjaw, and then we can start trying to chain some Krasis together. So I want like a Nisa or something like that. Alright, so Nisa is exactly what we wanted, and it, we got that there. So, not sure what the opponent's on. They do have Search for Iskanta. Uh, Hadama's Climb. Hmm, interesting. Some cards you don't necessarily see in succession. Okay, so we got another island here. Um, so I'm going to play this out because Nisa cares about the the forests uh, doesn't matter mainly looking to ensure that we don't so next turn we have effectively two four can untap it six seven eight nine one three Seven, eight, nine. So we're one off of omniscience. But we can do a big crisis to refill our hand and then omniscience. So looks like opponents on a similar plan to us. Okay, 
so they neoform here and fail to find off neoform. Uh, not sure what the opponent was on, but we are actually going to omniscience within the next two turns and then go off. So we'll play out another one. So I'm going to do a few of these videos. I usually like these formats. They give you some more creative space than just let's play to fairies. Um, generally in these formats, like I would advise against counter spells, but even something if you want to do play control, like Esper probably wouldn't be too bad. Uh, this hand's not bad. We can probably get a quick Nisa out and then go from there. I really just want to play Omniscience and then start getting all these Hydras together. And the Gruel version I have that will play after this one is a little bit more like Stompy. So just big dumb creatures smashing in. You got some Domeries to fight. I do feel this format's probably just going to devolve into Nisa Tribal. Okay, so that's pretty good there. That does allow us to play out a Nisa. Ah, so they have the Sabotage. So just be mindful if we am animate. So the opponent's trying to out counter us. This is a cast trigger. So here. Even if they counter this, we get another card from it. I want them to start burning counter spells on these. Okay, so, so far these haven't looked as good. Okay. They're just playing Simic Flash here. No attacks, but we'll look to steal it. No blocks. Uh, there's a big crisis. So here, mm, so crisis gives us X four here. Let's just try jamming another Nisa. Gate. We'll see if they have like a Brineborn or something. Spectral Sailor. We'll just throw down a big Crisis next turn. This does allow them to start refilling their hands. So this will draw us three cards. Let's see if they burn a counter spell here. Try to eventually steal their stuff. Okay. Probably just draw a card here. Ah, they have the ambusher. So 
So X6, we're definitely going to try to steal the Ambusher next turn. It's pretty aggressive. Five, that's not enough to adapt it as well. Let's try to steal this. So they have the sabotage. No attacks here. It's unfortunate. Seven, five, eight, nine, twelve. Uh. I think we just need to block to keep our life total high. I think we're dead regardless. So, turns out standard's still effective in this format. We'll run it back for another one. So I'll separate these as different videos for each deck, so that way if you're only interested in one, you could just play that one. All right, it's a green format. Next turn, we rip jaw. Follow that up with Nisa. And then hopefully steal whatever they play out. Seems like a plan. Okay, so Voracious Hydra won't get big enough yet. And we're one mana short of stealing this. So we're going to attack with both. Next turn. Do we have enough? We would need eight mana. So that's effectively the four. Ah. That sucks. We would have had enough to entrancing melody both. Uh, so here, we need eight to steal this. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do it. So then that's four, five, six, seven. Can we do this? We do this. That's three mana, but then we add two. Yeah, both should work. Six. Eight. Oh, you're only five. Cool. That was sweet. Sorry about that. That was uh, a lot of clicking. <laughs> Our forest with Kiora can add six mana. Which is really sweet. And they have six, eight mana open. Okay, so they have Ripjaw. And Carney T. All right, that's sweet. Cause now we can we can do quite a bit. So pay two life. Uh, add two blue. Animate you. So. Add that, add that. So that's eight right now. So we can go for four targets. So we'll go one, two, three, four. We'll keep ours. Yeah, that was sweet. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. Just play up the fact they're playing a bunch of big creatures and then just steal them. Claim the prize there. So doing pretty solid with the deck so far. Haven't gotten to go off with Omniscience, but... Uh, I don't like this hand as much. Okay, sounds a bit better. Still not great, but better. Uh, I'm going to put back the mass manipulation here. We don't have a mana doubler. Okay, so our first sighting of dinos. I uh, don't mind Krasis here. It'll refill our hand. They will have a fast start though with Marauding Raptor. We're going to get run over here.
something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. So they're just gonna go off now. All right, so we throw this down and just die, and then they fight that, so. Yeah, that one was a little rough. So we went two and two with this deck. Uh, we'll try out the other ones, see how they go. I'll do, like I said, I'll do these as separate videos. Um, so you can see which one you like the most. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And have a great one.